All right, today we're taking a trip down Ubuntu's memory lane and installing Ubuntu 8.04, which came out all the way back in April of 2008. So I just wanted to make this video just to see like how far Ubuntu has come since its golden age and like what comforts on Linux we're so used to today that people back in the day considered to be cutting edge that these days we wouldn't even think twice about. But without further ado, let's get right into it. So now, you may actually be surprised to know that Ubuntu has an archive of its older releases. You can find this archive by going to old-releases.ubuntu.com slash releases. And then it'll list all the old Ubuntu releases, going all the way back to the first version, Ubuntu 4.10, which was released in October of 2004. But anyway, for the purposes of this video, we want to install Ubuntu 8.04 LTS. And of course, this is like 10 years before Canonical got rid of the 32-bit ISO. So you still have the 32-bit ISO. But anyway, most of you will want the 64-bit ISO. And I've already downloaded it, so we don't need to worry about it. So now I've configured a VM to install it on. Okay, let's just get into the boot menu and then plug in our Ubuntu 8.04 ISO. Boot from it. And of course, this is back in the olden days when Ubuntu had this language selection screen in the ISO. But anyway, I want to use English. Okay, and of course you can see the old school Ubuntu logo. Like, this actually looks very different. Like, you can see the Ubuntu installer came a long way since this. But anyway, like, if you have a legacy BIOS, a similar thing actually does exist. You just have to press and hold the shift key as the ISO is booting up. But anyway, let's just try Ubuntu, just to get a full picture of what it was like. And of course there's the old Ubuntu boot screen. And then that was the old Ubuntu boot sound. But anyway, let's actually fix our scaling situation by going to our screen resolution. And then let's just go to 1366 by 768. That's my screen resolution. I know I have a crappy screen resolution. There we go. Now we have like the full screen desktop. Like you could see how far Ubuntu desktop has come since this. But anyway, we actually want to install it. Like just look at these old icons, including the old install icon. And yes, I'm ready to install. This is back when this button was called forward instead of continue. Where am I? New York works fine for me. This also works fine. I want to see like what the manual partitioner looks like. Pretty much similar to the modern Ubuntu versions, but it does look very different. But anyway, let's just go with the guided partitioning, just to make things simple. I'm just gonna call myself Drew Tech. This username works fine. I'm gonna set a password. Oh wow, listening to these old sounds. And rather than call this Drew Desktop, I'm just gonna call this Ubuntu 8.04. If it'll let me use that. And this is something that you don't see in even the modern Ubuntu installer. Just has a review of everything you put in. But anyway, we're gonna click install. And then we'll go ahead and install the system. But anyway, this will take a while, so I'll speed this up. All right, so now once it says the installation is complete, we're just gonna restart this. And you can see the old grub menu. There you go, the Ubuntu logo is noticeably bigger. All right, you can see the really old login screen. And you can see our options here. But anyway, let's log in. Okay, and then we need to fix our scaling problem. All right, and actually what I wanna do is go ahead and install VMware tools. sudo apt install open VM tools. Enter a password. You can see the old terminal had a white background instead of a purple background. And as you can see, this is back before you used apt. Back then you just used aptitude. It says you can't find it. So yeah, we need to install VMware tools this way. Let's open this up. Extract to my home folder. Let's see if we can install this. Let's go back into terminal. VMware tools distrib sudo dot slash VMware PL. Oh, we can't install it. Let's see. It says the Ubuntu version is too old. And what does it take? 10.04. So nope, sorry. No chance we're getting VMware tools on here. So we may as well just delete that folder and empty the trash. Come on, empty the trash. There we go. I don't know why I had to click on it twice. 
That's just annoying. But anyway, let's see what we can do with this. Actually, one thing we should check is like what the about Ubuntu and about GNOME menus said. This is back when it was nicknamed Linux for human beings. And you can see the whole document. You can pause this video if you want to read it. I'm not going to, because I don't want to make this video longer than necessary. But anyway, let's look at about GNOME. 2.22.3. Like this is back before the GNOME 3.0 days. But anyway, let's actually look at this exclamation mark and we can see that the release upgrade is available let's just check again enter my password nope can't download it. it says the repository may no longer be available let's just try installing these nope can't do it, it says 404 not found but anyway, let's see if we try to upgrade yep and even that's having a problem since even 10.04 has reached its end of life all the way back in 2013 like this has reached its end of life back in 2011. So, sorry, no chance of getting any software on here. But anyway, let's actually look through what applications we have. The good news for journalists is that Tomboy comes on the default install, since like the applications that are on the default install at this point are really the only ones you're getting. Let's just create a new note. Using Ubuntu 8.04 in 2020. Doesn't know Ubuntu? Ah, that's not good. Ubuntu 8.04.2020. There we go. And there it is. Anyway, I'm actually not used to these title bar buttons being on the right, so let's see if I can actually move them to the left. Let's actually look at the appearance. And we can also look at the different themes here. I wonder what these different themes look like. No, I'm going with the human theme. And we can also get the wallpaper here. Eh, let's actually just go with a better wallpaper than this ugly thing, sorry. People that love this, but just my personal opinion. Interface, mm, let's just try to use normal. Nope, not gonna do it. Not even gonna attempt to do extra then. I'm gonna install a theme here. Back and it was super easy to use. Controls, nope, there's nothing in here to move it to the left. I'm pretty sure like you could do it with some application, but can't get anything anyway. Like if we try to reload this, no way. Yeah, because these repos were actually, and still are, release really specific. And the thing is, it's not practical to keep supporting old releases, because I highly doubt anyone's using Ubuntu 8.04 these days. But the good news is, for graphic designers, is that GIMP also does come on the default install. So we can use that to edit our images. Let's see, I wonder what version this is. GIMP 2.4.5. Come on, 1920 by 1080. Yeah, let's see our advanced options. Foreground color. There you go, I made a simple black image. So yeah, at least I can make my thumbnails on here. It's the one application that hasn't changed much since the older versions. And of course, you can forget about doing any gaming aside from these simple games like Solitaire or Minesweeper. And of course, you can do some simple office work on this guy, back when Ubuntu shipped with OpenOffice and not LibreOffice. Pretty similar. Like, in fact, LibreOffice is actually based on OpenOffice. And you can also play movies on this guy. And you can take screenshots. Let's just take a screenshot and save it to the desktop. There we go. Let's just move this to the trash. But anyway, let's actually see what else we have in the settings. About me, back when you pretty much had separate apps. And let's actually choose what we want here before we can see all the account images at once. Let's actually make this like Mac. But let's actually see what's in the screensaver settings. Yeah, like even modern Ubuntu versions don't have this. And we also do have a menu editor. Like, even modern Ubuntu versions don't have anything like this installed by default. Like, I bet it's actually not as buggy as the menu editor that you have in the Ubuntu Software Center right now. I also kind of want to see, like, what happens if we right-click. Let's see if Evolution still works. Not Thunderbird Evolution. Let's just send something to myself. If it does, that's kind of alarming, because I didn't even put in a password. There's a test email. Let's see if we can send that. Yeah, no, it's not gonna send. Like, I'm not 100% sure if it works, but I'll just have to do more experimentation. Speaking of internet, let's actually go here. It says, welcome to Ubuntu 8.04 LTS. Yep, no, it's even giving me a bunch of errors. Just wonder, will modern web pages work on this? By the way, we're on Firefox 3.0.17 says to update the browser. Oh man, this is already appearing broken. Let's just remind us later. Oh, no way. This is not usable. But anyway, let's actually look up myself. Tech. Okay, I can actually find myself. This is very broken though. Let's just go to the Drew and Tech channel. Yeah, no, it's not doing anything. Let's see if we can at least get an updated browser. Yes, I am going to download this in Canadian English. Let's just open this up with Archive Manager. Yep, there is the Firefox folder. Let's see if we can actually get this installed. 
cd firefox slash firefox. I don't think it's gonna work. So, sorry, no way you're gonna be browsing the internet on this since web pages will either not load at all or appear so broken that you either can't use them at all or they're hard to use. But you can still do some stuff with this. You can edit photos on this guy, not videos, but photos. You can put together documents, presentations, and spreadsheets. And you can, of course, look at pictures and play movies on this guy, and play some really light games like Solitaire or Minesweeper. But other than that, you're actually pretty lonely using this. But also, one thing I do want to take a look at is see what this is. Let's just do it for this session. Let's just see what happens if we put in Ubum 2. Okay, it literally just goes back. Let's just see if we go like fail safe terminal. Extreme session. Okay, there we go. I don't know why it doesn't do a full screen terminal. Or at least just put it on the top left. But anyway. Though I do wonder why you can't just do control alt F2. Yeah, so I wonder what the advantage is to that. But yeah, like I really cannot use this as my daily driver. Like, I pity people who are still using this. I don't think these people even exist, but if they do, I pity them. Like, why don't you upgrade? But anyway, I just wanted to do something just to do justice because it is really being useless. Oh, that's actually smart. What if I just do dash dash no preserve root? Oh, yes, it's actually gonna do it. That was actually smart when they just did not tell you how to do it. Okay, what are you warning me about? This is just funny. Shut down, I guess. It's actually kind of funny just to like see that because like you cannot use your Ubuntu desktop unless you've completely memorized the whole thing. Does it not know how to shut down anymore? I had no idea where we were even going with this video. Oh, and by the way, just in case this video convinced you to install Ubuntu 8.04 on your daily driver system and use it as your daily driver OS, perhaps out of nostalgia. Please don't, because Canonical support for Ubuntu 8.04 ended all the way back in 2011. And so that means it's no longer getting updates. In fact, while I was using it, any attempt to update gave these error messages that it could not update. So it's not a secure thing to do. And if you wanna try it out, do yourself a favor and use a virtual machine like I did in this video. Because after all, legacy pieces of software are better off left in the past. But anyway, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, found it interesting, hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment.